guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyelle Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and More. So this weekend was super busy for me. I actually decorated three events this past Memorial Day weekend and I wanted to record all three events for you guys so that you could see the setup for everything. But on Saturday, it was rainy. It was rainy, it was cold, and it was dark. So I tried to start recording, but I realized that you couldn't see anything on the video. It was just too dark. On Sunday, I decorated for a wedding that was indoors. So I was able to record the setup for you guys. Now with all of my events, you know there's always some drama. <laughs> There's always some learning lessons, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so I can share with you what happened. All right, so let's get started.
guys, so that was my wedding backdrop. I loved the way that everything came out. I feel like everything went so well together and that backdrop really fit well with that event space. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but I have the floral panel right here. I'll lift it up for you guys. So as you can see, it's wrapped in these plastic bags, these really big plastic bags that I got off of Amazon. I can put the link in the description for you guys. I use these plastic bags to cover things like this. So flowers, like a flower panel, and then also I use them for my balloons. So I'll make sure that I put the link in the description for you guys. I love how this came out. Love, love, love how this came out. So someone asked me, how do I handle situations where clients send me a picture of somebody else's work? Do I replicate it or do I make it my own? So I just wanna show you what the client sent me, okay? So this is what the client sent me. And then I'll show you what I ended up doing, okay? So this is my backdrop. So when clients send me pictures of decorations that they're interested in, I never duplicate exactly what it looks like. I put my own spin on it, okay? Because me as a designer, I want clients to hire me because they like my work. They like the way that I design, right? I don't want my work to look like someone else's. So that's the reason why when someone sends me a picture, I use it as inspiration, but I don't duplicate it. But I love this. And when I have clients who are asking me for these flower backdrops, I can just switch out the flowers and make it a different color to match the client's theme, all right? And I feel like this is easy enough. If you guys wanna do this at home as a DIY, you can definitely do it. I have a tutorial that I created before where I walk through the steps on how to create this. So I'll make sure that I put a link for that in the description and I'll put a card up top. So now on to the drama, <laughs> which it really wasn't that much drama, but I wanted to give you guys some tips. So normally when I decorate for an event, I make sure that the person who hired me sees the decorations before I leave. But the bride was running behind. So I kept waiting and waiting until it got closer to the event because I wanted her to see the decorations. I was setting up completely by myself. There was no one else there except for the owners of the restaurant. So I wanted someone to see the decorations before I left, either someone in her family or one of her friends or just someone, right? So thank goodness that I stayed because her sisters and her mom brought some furniture in and they were trying to put it together <laughs> even though they were running behind on time. So I was happy that I was there to be able to help them with finishing the stage decor. So I just took the furniture, me and my son, actually my son, <laughs> put it together for them. And then I was able to finish the stage decorations. And then also the cake lady came and she didn't necessarily know what to do. So I was able to help her. So I would say that if your instincts are telling you to stay longer, then follow them because there's something that God wants you to help somebody with, right? And I'm so happy that I did stay to be able to help the bride in that way because they were running behind and they would have been sitting up there putting together furniture and wasting more time. Another thing was they purchased decorations that I already had in my inventory. So I have to do a better job when clients are booking me to let them know all that's in my inventory, right? Let them know that I have cake stands, I have cocktail tables, because they purchased a cake stand and they could have rented one from me, right? So I wanna encourage you, just like I have to remind myself, that when clients are booking your services, let them know other decorations that you have in your inventory that they could add on for their convenience. Because I feel like my clients would have definitely come to me for those decorations that they purchased had they had known that it was in my inventory. So I realized that I have to do a better job at that, all right? I'll put the link to all the materials in the description. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.